Okay, how about it, Sam? This is the wrap-up for September. Um, I'll also be talking about the books that I'm reading for October. Um, but I did finish Helen Hearted Craving. I actually did sort of like this. But boy, oh boy, did it talk about sex a lot. I mean a lot in it. But, um, it was actually pretty good. It's just about this woman who's friends with, uh, the, um, Steel Brothers' sister. Uh, she comes there and she ends up falling in love with, uh, Talon, I think. And he's like the messed up brother. They said this this is almost like Fifty Shades of Grey. I don't know. Maybe. But I don't think so. Because I haven't read Fifty Shades of Grey. I've only seen like the movies. <laughs> but I'm thinking about getting the other ones in the series. Maybe. Still haven't really decided. But, uh, that's one that I've, uh, read. And I don't actually remember how many that I did read. One. Okay, some of these are library books. So, okay, yeah, I went to the library and I checked out some. Uh, this is a library one. It's Tales from the Crypt Terror. I think this is a new thing of it. Because it said, when I went to go look this up on Goodreads, it said one, number one. But I don't know. Uh, this one had a number, a, a few stories. I don't remember how many. I did not like this. I think the only one that I absolutely liked would be... I'm trying to find it. And then I'll show you. I did sort of like this one. What it says, Undertow. That one was actually pretty good. Mm. Yeah. Oh, I like this one too. Divestment. That one was actually pretty good. It just has a bunch of stories in it. One of them is about this guy who uses other people's body parts to stay alive longer. I think that's divestment. And then, wait, shoot, go back. A zombie bank. That's a guy who thinks he's seeing zombies, but he doesn't. He's like psychotic. And then there's the werewolf of Wall Street. It's for real about a werewolf. Somebody who's a werewolf going around killing people. And then um, one called Picture Perfect where uh, this popular girl takes a picture of this kind of chubby girl and posts it on the internet and she gets, somebody gets revenge on her. Undertow is about this woman who locks up her, who makes everybody think um, her daughter is dead when he, when she's not, and she's locking her up in the room. And somebody finds out. Uh, feed it is just about this big old snake, this guy who's feeding it and wanting to sell it to. Uh, circus or something like that uh, leather or not that's just about somebody who uses people's skin to make clothes I think that's the only one that's in here yeah that's the only ones that's in here uh, whatever I'll just sit in there um, I think this is another library one yeah 
uh, Ghouly. This is a zombie fairy tale. I actually really do like this one. It's it's sad. That little boy can't remember who he is, who he you know who he was. He goes by Ghouly. Yeah, and the, in the story it tells how he finds out who he is, who he was, and even finds his mom. It's like this is almost like warm bodies in a way. I do not know who wrote that. Didn't actually say. And then I read Bram Stoker's Dracula comic. Uh, this one I actually didn't like it either. It kind of twisted the story around. Um. I gotta be honest, when I checked this out from the library, I didn't realize how bad of a shape it was in. I don't think the library realized how bad of a shape it was in. It literally fell apart in my hands when I got it home. I pulled it out of my bag and it fell apart in my hands. And it was not my fault at all. <sighs> Sorry about that if you heard that. Me blowing, it was like something on my uh, camera. Then I did finally get done with Pure Murder by Corey Mitchell. This was okay. Not one of my favorite true crimes, mainly because it did not. It tell it talked more about the freaking killers than the victims, than the girls. The only thing that they said about the girls was how nice they were. It didn't actually go into the backstory, like you know, because one was fourteen, one was sixteen. Why couldn't they go back in their backstory, get their parents to talk about them a little bit? That's the only thing, that's the only problem I had with this. I think I gave it a four star because that is the problem I did have with it. It was a good story, but it did not talk about the girls' backstories. It mostly talked about the killers. All of them basically got death, from what I've read, except for... Eventually, they were overturned after the book. I actually looked them up. Um, I think, if I'm not mistaken, Valier, I can't remember how to pronounce his name, him, he got life. He got life as well because they were under 18 when they committed the crime. Oh, and he, somebody else, one more person. He, he got, what, 30, 40 years because he's the one that testified against him. If you'd have to look this book up, it's kind of like, I can't pronounce their names real good. But I did kind of like this one. So, okay, um, how many did I read? One, two, three, four, five. So I read five. I read five books this month. Wee! Um, most of them are comics, but yay! I am reading, my niece checked this out for me because my library didn't have it. Her library did, though, in school. It, um, I never read this until just now. Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone. I bet you everybody's going to be like, what? You never read Harry Potter? No, I haven't. She said, I think they got them all there. She even said that. So, I told her if I finish this and I like it enough, I'll ask her to check out the other ones for me. Which I probably will continue. Even though right now it's kind of forgive me I'm, I bet you a lot of people is going to be like cursing me a little bit but like it's kind of boring right now <laughs> I guess because it's not getting the magic it's kind of okay but kind of boring I am reading that I think I'm on page let me see page 61 chapter 5 that's because I'm just hitting the uh you know where he's going to school i am reading prior conviction i haven't actually started it yet but i am going to pick it up after i read harry potter um but um yeah i'm reading prior convictions by leah matera a willie jensen mystery i am going to read this one next and then i'm also reading i never read these before either chew my library just got a whole bunch of new comics. That's the reason I'm kind of going ahead and trying to pick up a lot of famous 
comics and books and whatever. Um, yeah, I already know what this is about, basically, and it's a little disgusting from what I've heard. Um, but I can't wait to get to read this. And if I like this enough, I will pick up the others because I know they got like a, I don't know if they got them all, but I know they got like a, a lot of them there. And they also had another one that was popular, but I didn't pick it up yet. Okay, that's all that I've, um, reading. Haha, <laughs> it went to that. I haven't read that yet. Oh yeah, actually I am reading that spooky, what was it? Clash of Spooks or something like that? Oh shoot. Uh, yeah, I'm reading Clash of Spooks as well. I think I've already started that. I think I'm in chapter 2. If I'm mistaken. Please, please go back to that. No, I'm on chapter 1. Huh, it actually ain't backed me up long enough. I thought I read that. I probably will have to, like, fix it. Um. This is actually sounds pretty good, though. Um, yeah, that's all I've read right now, and, uh, I hope you guys enjoy this video. Bye.